Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. A rat returns to FIFA 22 today. Yes, the 99 rated secondary winner of the vote from the last Wednesday. That second SBC 99 rated Usman Dembele is expected to be in FIFA 22 today. It's kind of the last of like the insane SBCs that we have seen over the past few days, right? We had the 99 Varane, we have had the same Maximin, we had the Neymar dropped yesterday as a center attacking mid position change, 98 rated. This big Usman SBC today is kind of like the last one of these insane leagues. Um, and then after that, it's just time to craft and try to get all these SBCs done um, with the upgrade packs that we have per se. But I want to take a look at that SBC today, how much it could, could cost and what's going on with the market, including what's going on with the SBC fodder prices and what has been impacted on those prices is the SBCs, especially that footies. France campaign bag, whatever that thing is called. It's not even in the game right now. EA like took it out of the game. The footies French campaign bag player pick because it was glitched. And EA is actually giving out compensation for this footies player pick that was glitched yesterday as well. So it's actually kind of a bummer because that French campaign player pick looks kind of dope. Um, and fodder is already starting to rise because of that, because of Neymar. Again, with this 82 plus player pick, the 75 times five, our usual upgrade SBCs back. Everybody is crafting and trying to get these big boy footies SBCs done. So I want to take a look at all of that today and just talk about the market and especially fodder in general because as we know, the weekends, fodder is a little bit lower and then it goes up afterwards and I, I see that exact same thing happening in this upcoming week as well. So it might be a good time to get prepared this weekend even as fodder prices have started to go up a little bit more. So if you're excited for a 99 rated Usman rat footies SBC today, hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Let's talk about that SBC to start things off. I mean, some people were expecting this SBC on Friday, two days ago, but of course, Foot Sheriff, after he originally leaked the 99 rated Usman, came back and said that Varan was going to be next. So Varan was our first place winner. Dembele is our second place winner, and we should see a card similar to this one today. EA Sports, do the dynamic. That'd be incredible as well. But 99 pace, 99 dribble are stats that we would almost expect to see on this Usman today. Don't know if they'll do a position change um, because I don't think for the footies vote winner SBCs, they've really been doing position changes. So since Usman's base card is right wing, I know, of course, he does have the striker foot fantasy card. that's very popular and also very cheap now at this stage, 120,000 coins. That technically is a position change from his base card's right wing. You know, I would expect this to be a right wing today, which actually I don't have a problem with. Um, I think that's, you know, a great right wing after we've had an insane left mid with Usman. We've had a Griezmann striker. We have Neymar center attack in mid. So nothing wrong with a right wing, right mid card here, in my opinion. But this is the SBC that we're all looking forward to today. Now, let's take a look at price and cost for a second, too, because a lot of the SBCs have actually gone up in price because of where fodder has been moving Take a look at St. Max and Varan. Varan and St. Max were both around like 800,000 coins yesterday. And with the content dropping with Neymar, with the, the footies player picks that were dropped, this fodder went up a lot. And now it's back down a bit. You can see Varan went from 800K all the way to 1.1 mil. And now he's down in the 900s. And that's just because some of that fodder in the nighttime, early morning hours does tend to drop off. And that is exactly what it's doing right now. But first of all, a value for a new Usman today. I would say it's probably going to be in the similar range as the Varane, as the St. Max, maybe even a little bit higher. So realistically on the game today, I would imagine somewhere around 10 to 12 squads for an SBC like the Usman Dembele, probably somewhere around a million coins, maybe just a little bit more than a million coins. Uh, because again, that's a five-star, five-star right wing player. And, you know, it's not going to be like that massive of an upgrade over his Foot Fantasy Striker card, although I'm assuming they're going to add some traits. And that's kind of the thing they've been doing with a few of these cards. Usman's already 5-star, five 5-star, five right? So you can't add anything on there. But player traits-wise, they can add a lot. I would assume outside foot shot, maybe the flare passes, the finesse shot trait. That's kind of what they've been doing with a lot of these SBCs. So 
Of course, we expect the 99 pace to come back, the 99 dribble, hopefully like 97 shooting. Like, I mean, imagine a plus three or a plus four to shooting. That would be incredible. So this card today, you know, is going to look absolutely insane. And I think that the price tag is going to be decently up there as well, um, even as it is a right wing card. So I really feel like a million coins should be a good ballpark area for an Usman Dembele SBC today on this game now speaking of SBCs, let's talk fodder once again because like i just showed you a lot of the prices for fodder have actually gone up with we we saw the veron SBC went from 800k to over a mil and if you take a look at fodder across all levels that makes sense right our, our 96 rated cards on friday were 16k 16,000 coins for like Joe Cole and for guys like Immobile. Yesterday, those guys went from 16K and spiked all the way to the high 20s, kind of where they're sitting right now, 25, 26, 27,000 coins for a lot of these cards as everybody was going out and doing those high-rated SBCs for Neymar, for Varane, for Alan St. Maximin. There's so much demand for the higher-rated SBCs, like 91 squads, 90-rated squads, because of a lot of the player SBCs that we have right now, most people are having to craft those. So I think that's why you saw the higher tier fodder go up, but you also saw the lower tier fodder with a really nice rise. Our boy Sabitzer, right? We check this guy's price all the time. Sabitzer, these cards were stupid low on Friday. I mean, we were talking about it. We're like, hey, hey guys, this is probably going to be a buy on late Friday into Saturday. It absolutely was. Sabitzer at 3K, 84s yesterday going from 3K spiking to almost 6K. Now he's back down to four. It's buy time again, lads. I really think today these prices are going to spike back up one more time. You got the 85 times 10. People are using that to craft. You got the 85 times five that we can do every single day right now in FIFA. We got the French campaign uh, bag as well. When that comes back, that's another SBC that will be in demand for the lower tier fodder. I love the 84s again. I think this is going to be a week where the 84s will end up hitting 6,000 to 7,000 coins consistently probably like monday to tuesday time frame the whole fodder market in its own is just going to continue to be lifted up because that's where all the hype is all these insane insane sbc's so you know even 85 rated cards at 6k whichever ones of these you want to trade with and kind of um watch their prices rise the most just look at an individual player basis i mean look at this lucas hernandez from 2k to 5,000 coins he's now back down under 3k there's literally no reason this card could not go back to 5,000 coins today. So at the very least, go through club stock some of this fodder. Um, if you think about it too, right now is our biggest time of supply because they're not running lightning rounds. There's not a lot of tradable packs. So on the weekend, when people are getting the tradable weekend league rewards packs, is kind of like your biggest time for supply. I'm going to take a Phil Foden right there. I'm going to put that in my club. That's going to be very, very helpful for doing an SBC. As I'm sure Phil Foden yesterday was like somewhere around the 6,000 coin range as well. So that's what I'd be doing right now. I have no problem paying four and a half thousand coins for an 84 just because I know that some of these guys are going to be six, six and a half, maybe even 7K in the next two days. So that's the kind of stuff, whether you want to daily fluctuate, fluctuation trade with this fodder, right? Sell it an hour after content. Buy it in the early morning or the late night, whatever the time schedule is for you. Around the time these videos go out is a decent time to look for the fodder. Try to get it on bids. Try to get it on snipe, stuff like that. And just watch the price. If the, if the prices start to creep up, you know, just be careful with that. Right around content, they usually drop right back down again just before the SBCs come out. So I would absolutely be looking into that SBC fodder stuff because it spiked yesterday. It's going to spike again today with Usman coming out. And again, we still have all the other SBCs that are on 24-hour refresh timers coming back per usual, right? You, you guys kind of know the drill. You got the 85 times 10 coming back today. You got the 86 plus player pick. Now we have the 85 times 5 upgrade pack. So we've got everything that is coming back today. And also... I hope this SBC comes back because I actually want to do it. EA has removed it. And this is where I want to enter the conversation about that French campaign bag player pick. I'm sure that some of you guys experienced this yesterday. EA dropped this SBC. Contains one of three French foot birthday, fantasy foot, foot captains, tots, or shapeshifter French players, right? It's the same thing that we've seen the past couple weeks for like Serie A and for Bundesliga. 56,000 coins. I believe it was an 80 rated, 85 rated squad. This SBC was glitched. You went to go and open this pack 
and it was literally unable to be opened. As you can see here, EA tweeted about it a couple uh, hours after the problem was noticed. They said, four players who were unable to open their French campaign bag player pick, uh, we are working to resolve the issue. Once the issue is resolved, we expect that player pick will work as expected. So evidently they had to remove it because as I'm getting on the game now, it's not even in the SBC section for me at this time. But I have seen that people that have them still completed and in their unassigned that were unable to open them, they are now available to be open. And I saw a couple people post on Twitter. They had opened their French campaign bag player picks and they are working now. So that is nice to know. EA has not updated us in this thread as I've seen yet, but supposedly those are working. Now also the regular footies player pick, EA says that it was giving out incorrect items. Now I didn't see any of this, but evidently it was happening. They said you'll be contacted in game and receive the proper player pick in the coming days. Probably gonna be a week, let's be honest. And then once they have identified the impacted player. So EA having problems with their game two days in a row now. I mean, you guys knew, you guys know what happened on Friday, right? Um, just server outages, traffic on the servers. Like, how are the servers going down in August? I get that you dropped a 99 rated Varan and a 97 um, St. Max on Friday, but servers going down in August, that's kind of crazy. So, servers going down Friday, packs unable to be opened yesterday on Saturday. What's it going to be today? I don't even know. Just fasten your seatbelts because who knows what's going to happen today on Sunday. Now, speaking of yesterday, just a little bit more. Let's talk about this Neymar because I love it. I love this Neymar. Five star, five star, of course. They added some traits. Flare shot, or sorry, flare finesse shot outside the foot. He's got it all, right? He's got the traits you want. And it is a nice upgrade on the card. And it's a nice position change. Everything along those lines. I just don't know for everybody if this SBC is worth it. It's about 1.7 million coins right now it was about 2.4 i think and it's when it was first released when the fodder was spiking and then i saw it 2 mil and now it's at like 1.7 this is realistically like a 1.8 to 2 million coin sbc if fodder keeps rising up the next couple of days the stats look great yes i am absolutely going to be doing this sbc and it is the ultimate SBC. So you've got the foot birthdays, the captains, the fantasies. I think these cards are, some of them are still extinct maybe and high up in price. And like you have to do player picks or open 85 times 10s or um, 85 times fives to try to pack some of these cards because I think it's foot, bir foot birthdays on Friday night. Um, even after St. Max was released, they were extinct. Let me check them still right now. Some of you guys might, be, might know the answer to this. I have not checked them. Okay, foot birthdays, oh wow, they're not extinct, of course, but some of the lower tier ones, what's the most expensive foot birthday? No way, 35K? Wow, yeah, these are, they're basically extinct unless you're paying like 100,000 coins for Danny Alves or something, but they get they get listed up. So if you can get very lucky and snipe one, go ahead, because it looks like they're getting pretty commonly listed up, but I'm sure it's very, very difficult to snipe them, but also they are at their max price. So it's not like you can buy these cards and profit off of them and sell them for 85K. Odegaard's getting listed at 32,000 coins because that's literally his maximum price in his price range. So that's kind of the issue with these. Come on, EA Sports. Either, uh, you know, why, why are you still requiring these cards? It's really the question. You shouldn't have required as many of these. Like we talked about, we, you should have required probably um, some other ones. More TOTS cards instead of foot birthdays and stuff. But it is what it is. That's, that's the difficult part of the Neymar SPC right now is finding these sorts of special cards on the market. Now, from a value perspective, once again, can I get Tony Cruz? Yes, I got one at 47, perfect. I need that for Neymar. Anyways, from a value perspective, 1.8 to 2 million coins for this because I don't think it's calculating the foot birthday prices in right now anyways. For this sort of upgrade, five shooting is really nice. Three physical, two defense, three passing, three pace if you have a tots card of neymar untradeable or maybe you have a tots card in the club for some other reason you know i really think that this neymar spc if you're somebody who's a little bit lower on coins is really not going to be worth it for you because the upgrade isn't like astronomically you know it's not that big i mean it is it is a nice upgrade very very solid upgrade but for those of you that don't want to take the time to craft or maybe don't have the coins to go and craft um, is it really worth it is my question. And for some people, the answer to that might be no. I'm kind of viewing it the same way as I did with Alan St. Maximin, right? St. Max is 900,000 coins. Not that massive of an upgrade 
over his foot fantasy card, only a plus two, a smaller upgrade for this than Neymar, let's be completely honest, and a lesser valued position change on him as well. So the Neymar is sick. It is incredible. I'm absolutely doing him, but I do have to say, I think maybe just a little bit expensive EA Sports. Like if it was 1.4 mil, 1.5 mil, maybe a little bit better, but still, I mean, they can't make a card like that cheap. A 98 rated Neymar at this stage of the game can't be cheap, even though it is this stage of the game. It's still a 98 Neymar. That's what I'm trying to say. So I really don't have any problems with that. I mean, I know the SBC has got a ton of upvotes and the, the card has got a lot of upvotes because it is dope. I mean, a 98 Neymar, that's freaking sick. So I get it. But um, I understand people that are maybe turning away from that SBC as well saying, hey, I've got the left wing. It fits in my team better. It's 300K, that sort of thing. I totally understand it. Now, with the Neymar being dropped as well, you did see some PSG links rise. Messi was one of those in particular. You can see Messi went down to 1.56, spiked all the way to 1.7 is back down into the 1.5 uh, million coin range. You know, even a guy like Sergio Ramos, who's a really, really cheap card compared to what Neymar is, right? He went from about 160K. You can see that this is a legit rise. 160 all the way back up to 180, and he's even going a little higher now towards 190. So that's a pretty legit rise on some of those PSG cards. I'm assuming Mbappe had a similar fluctuation as well as people went out and completed Neymar. Uh, maybe a little bit, not so much for the Tots card. What about for the team of the year? 1 million coins. I think this is around the same price too. He was, yeah, so he was up a little bit. There's, You're going to have some ebbs and flows just as people are going and, and trying to get this uh, Neymar done. And for a lot of the SBCs that are, that are happening and coming out right now, it's not a matter of, hey, let me go get this done in 15, 20 minutes and then, you know, I'll be able to use the card. It's more of a, hey, let me get this done over a couple of days time frame. So, you know, we're probably going to see some of these PSG and some of the French cards even like your Marcelo um, shapeshifters cards, there's been a ton of fluctuation, guys. A ton of fluctuation on the shapeshifter cards, on some of the Tots cards right now that people are linking together with these brand new SBCs that have come out. Marcelo is probably one of the top options that people could use with the Brazil links, with the Real Madrid links, and, uh, you know, just an insane player anyways. 487,000 coins for this Marcelo right now. I mean, what was he on Friday? We looked at him on the video at like 365K. He went all the way over back to 500. Now he's in the 480s. So, you know, that's the kind of stuff I'd try to watch out for because it's it, the market's still being impact, impacted by a few of those things. Now for the rest of the meta market, I mean, so many people this weekend are just crafting, crafting, crafting all about the SBCs, the player picks. A lot of your cards that maybe don't have as good of links at the moment, you know, like a Hyunmin Sun, 370,000 coins. His price yesterday just kind of keeps falling, right? He has some ebbs and flows in there. Friday, again, he went from 390, panic sell of 300. He did bounce back very nicely, but I just think that just how it's been for the past couple of weeks, your cards are going to keep sliding down in value because of all the great content that is coming out. So that's kind of the pulse of the market. Honestly, it's just continual slow drops. People are also this weekend going to get their weekend league rewards and sell cards they might have tradable in their team to go and craft a Varane, a Neymar, a St. Max, Griezmann, Mendy, any of those great SBCs that are out at the moment. Speaking of Sunday content, just one more time, what to expect today on this game? We are hopefully expecting another icon player pick today. The 93 plus moments is expiring. I haven't touched one of these SBCs in weeks. I cannot lie. EA Sports, this needs to be 94 plus and, you know, like cheap, man. And these icon moments player picks, and they need to be like 300,000 coins, like really cheap because everything else right now is really cheap and icons are behind the curve. So you're giving us less, lesser than desirable cards, except for like the top three or four icon moments cards. And by the time we come to tomorrow, by the way, icon moments r9 potentially like one of the like the last moments sbc that ea has to drop before they drop just about everybody that would be like the only card that you could pack from an icon moments pack right now that you couldn't just go and do an sbc for or couldn't have done an sbc or you know grind with swap tokens for so that's also a point that you have to make is that so many of the other icons moments are grindable at this stage through their individual player sbcs that icon player picks are now just like people that are doing icon player picks, A, just love icon player picks, or B, have stupid amounts of coins and fodder. They're just trying to do every SBC they can 
to have fun. And so I expect that to be refreshed today. Hopefully it's 94 plus, maybe it won't be, who knows. But Usman's coming today 100%, we do expect that. And other than that, I'm really not expecting too many thing, other things. Um, maybe not even a swap token today because we'll probably get eight more tomorrow on Monday as we continue our swap token grind. I'm working on that 86 times 15. And then after that, maybe I'll do like one more shapeshifter player pick depending on how many tokens I get. But after the fodder packs are done, my motivation to grind the swap tokens is going to go straight downhill. I can't lie. So that's kind of what I'm expecting for Sunday content today. It's all about that Usman SBC. And hopefully the French party bag player pick comes back. Maybe it'll come back today at content. I don't know if it's showing up for you guys. Um, let me know down in the comments because it is not showing up for me. But um, it definitely was dropped in the game. And I think, you know, some other times when EA has messed up an SBC before, they take it away and then they bring it back. If they bring it back at any time other than 6 p.m. though, it might get a bit finicky. There might be some glitches. We had that uh, during shapeshifters or something I remember as well when like the refresh times were a really weird time, like two or three hours before content because they brought it back at a weird time. So that's the only thing I would say watch out for. We'll see if that happens today, but we're gonna keep it locked in on that Usman Dembele because that'll be another SBC that I try to craft this week in this last insane week of footies. So if you're enjoying the game of footies right now, drop a thumbs up on the video. Comment down below if you have any comments, any suggestions, what you think about the Neymar, what you think about the uh, the SBCs. We got the upgrade packs back, which is very nice. That was needed. So really, the grind is all set in front of us for this next and last five to six days of footies. Also, if you're new around here, hit the subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it. But happy Sunday, lads. Good luck if you're playing champs. Good luck with your France Cup games and good luck crafting whatever SBC you're working on. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.